Okay, today I'll be talking about this nice little toy here. It's a building blocks. You can uh, create a uh, little robot, any type of or style. This is what it comes with. The remote control. The battery package. This is just individual sets here. And everything comes individually packed. I know my son and my husband are going to have so much fun creating things. It does come with two of these for the wheels. And the little adapters that will come like to the to the motors. So this is it and it does come with a little booklet as well. Which is great. And once we have created our little toy, I will continue my recording. So give me a minute. Okay, this is the motorcycle I made. It's very nice and it works very well. I'm actually impressed with this little little uh, robot that you can build out these blocks. It does require four AAA batteries for this, the motorcycle. And it does require two AA batteries for the controller to work. As you can see, I use rechargeables. It's just better on toys and I still have this all scrambled all around my area. <clears throat> um, you are going to need to glue the eyeballs to here so it can stay on. As I, my uh, glue gun ran out of glue sticks. Um, once you have installed everything and put the batteries in, you're going to have to go on your controller and push this F4. Hold it down for a couple of seconds um, to get it to... Uh, to read your little car. So you're just gonna push the forward like driving the car. It's gonna go simple, reverse, forward, and then um, it's gonna spin. It's gonna spin the other way. Eyeballs already came off. And um, you do say though, um, on this, uh, these go a certain way as I got these wrong. So the cords are on the back of it. So this is going to be flipped the other way around so the cords do not get stepped on while playing and mess it up. Um, so we can easily fix that. But I just wanted to show you how fun it is. And uh, let me correct this real quick. I just want to show you what it could possibly be if you insert this the wrong way as you can see um, it stalls and it doesn't do what it needs to be done but give me a minute okay I have corrected the problem now you can see it's better organized and it won't be in the way at all whatsoever so do keep in mind I just wanted to show you all that um, now it should be running correctly forward back spin turn up oh, it broke they gave out. Hold on. Alrighty. Uh, it is uh, all good. It's all blocked. I was doing this myself. First time building it. And no, I am on carpet. So it's not a steady floor. So it is going to, as you see, jumps up and down. Overall, great little toy for um, your little one. Okay. Uh, this time we build the little truck here we added the nose and the eyeballs to it which makes it look a little cuter which is awesome once again I did not glue them I have not went to go buy some more glue sticks but it tells you right here how to build it um, there is about 25 steps to it as that is the final piece. Like I said, I just added the eyeballs and the nose. It's simple. It tells you directions right here. And this is what we built. Um, 
this tool does come in handy on uh, taking it apart um, from piece to piece. Um, the only thing is, I would say, on these, it says uh, 5 and 7. I suggest you do a 4 and 8. 8 is counting away the dots from here. Just to give enough room for this, as this is a different kind than the book is stating. And even though it looks great, this does give you the just to oh, to to spin it. You know, give a little effect on spinning it. I was trying to push it in. Um, use your eyeballs. I just want to show you that's cute. <coughs> Simple to use, and then the spinny. Oh, sorry. As my son's here playing with it too. He's a four-year-old, going soon to be five. Um, we're building all of the ones here in the book, and great uh, family time bonding as well. I'm going to show you this one and I'll be back with the other one. Okay, and this is the engineering truck robot as it is right here. Um, it is uh, 33 parts to it to get it to this. It did take some time and some readjustments. Um, overall, great. I mean, uh, went ahead and glued the eyeballs. Um, the doors do swing open on both sides. This can turn. I did add uh, the white for a little uh, nicer look. It just details since we have extra the nose, the white bar on the side, just on the side. Just a quick thing. Um, as this, I put out here in the back because, like I said, on this. It has these sticking out, and on the book it doesn't. They're just different. Also, these have some pins. Let me demonstrate this. I don't think I did it from the beginning of the video. But this is it. Uh, and it has a little ledge here. As you can see it. And you're going to have to get those pins in here. Those three little pins. I'm trying to get it, but as you can see, those three pins uh, to go into here. And then it also has this, like I said, this little curve here that's going to go on this side. So they each have their own specific side to go to. Um, so I try to do it carefully because I don't want to mess nothing up. Um, I don't let my son do it either. Um, I'll do that later because I have I'm one handed at the moment. But overall, nice toy. So it goes does go back forward. It does take all this away. It does work on the carpet. Um, I prefer a flat surface though for this because uh, on the turnings, it since it's a little heavier than the other ones, um, it takes a little bit of more t effort and that. And then my carpet is not uh, low for it. It's a little high. Uh, and thick, it's not soft. Um, overall, this is it. Just wanted to show you this one, and that's it.